he who hesitates is lost. Always put something in your cart. You can always put it back, but you can never put something that somebody else takes in your cart. Basic principle, right? Mike, the Golden State Picker in my garage with another video. Exciting day. We've got a very big sale that we made. We're going to show you that in a little bit. So i got a big grin on my face. It finally happened. A lot of you are going to know, kind of guessing as to what it might be, but I finally did sell this particular item. Uh, I got some other cool items that I sold, uh, just a lot of stuff. So it uh, seemed to break open. It was like I was at Savers yesterday and I'm wandering through and I look at my phone and I go, ooh, really? And I look and you'll see it in a minute and I go, great. And it seemed the floodgates opened up. After that, I got even more sales and I was in bed and I'm getting sales and I'm like, okay. So something happened. It's not like I just had a lot of great, great stuff, but it, it you know, stuff happens. That's how it goes. You know, we got to be patient in this world of eBay and Amazon because it goes like this and then it goes like this and like that and boy some people really get panicky when it's at the bottom of the trough but boy they get really high at the top you just gotta let it flow you gotta get to a point where that is what you're doing you're just going with everything okay that's the key to basically running a good reselling business is to just continue with what you do and it will get it you know, it will happen if you've got the knowledge and you've got the process down and I feel I have that process down and uh, that's what I like to do is just try to roll with it yeah some days I'm thinking but that's just human nature that's just the way we're built but we got to learn to uh, get beyond that right so anyhow, if you're new to my channel, I am out of California, San Jose, California. Been doing this four years full time. Been a lot of fun. I told myself I'm supposed to be retired and I'm not. Basically, I am running a full time business now. And it's kind of different because I feel like I am retired because this is so much fun. And that's where I'm at. It's, it's just been a lot of fun, a lot of interesting stuff. Who would I, you know, you don't know uh, that you're going to run into this. This is what I've always said about a business is it's that curiosity and it usually just happens to you. It's kind of like, um, when you're trying to find a girlfriend, let's say, remember you go, I need to find it. It doesn't work that way. It usually just happens. You meet somebody out of the blue. That's how I met my wife. And that's how it happens. It just is weird. It's just this circumstance. Same thing here. I wasn't looking to resell. I just happened to kind of fall into it a little bit. A lot of stories about that on my videos, but that's how it happens. And you just let it grow and let it grow. Now, along the way, I've read a lot of books, okay? And I love reading books that are inspirational and try to help you. And I'm gonna give away a book today. So First In Wins, if you've been around, you know what I'm talking about, time to go. First In Win is gonna win Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. This is a great read because you can go back and forth. They are short little stories, probably of a hundred or so of the big names, and it talks about how their day goes, how they made it. It's very interesting. So there's a lot of good information in the Tools of Titans. So the first person to put a comment that says, I want it, you get it. I do that every so often. It's free of charge. Listen, as I say, put a comment down below. When I respond to your comment and say, hey, go to my email, that is the time I need you to qu hopefully quickly go in there so I can give the book away so I don't have to try and find somebody else. So uh, Tools of Titan, great book. I have a library here. and I've got more I need to give away, but I've got a nice library for myself. When I go on vacation on the airplane, I pull them down. And occasionally I pull them down here as reference. Uh, I highlight them. I got my highlighter right here. So if I got a book, I like to read a little bit. Oh, that's a nice one. I want to remember that so that when I open it up. It's right there. Okay, so I'm um, going to show you just a couple, two things that I found. One is because of the season's coming up. And the other one I want to talk a little bit about because it gets passed up a lot. Uh, at least I feel it does. And people don't realize that it has some really good value. So let's start off with first the seasonal item. Here he is. I took the batteries out, but this is, uh, I call it Big Head Frankenstein, and it, it dances. You know, it's one of those dancing ones. Uh, I got this for, I think, a little bit under $15. Now, I paid a little bit more than maybe I'd like to, maybe 
five. I'd like to get this for 10 max. So, but anyhow, uh, it's Halloween. I'm going to see if I can push, push 45 to 55. I'm pushing it there. Um, I don't know why it doesn't get more. It's very cool. But uh, Halloween is now upon us. What I like to do too is I like to go to Michael's. You get that 40% off coupon. And sometimes those um, Lee, I think they're called Lee. I can't remember them. The little lighted houses, kind of like Department 56. Some of those are already going for good money. So you can buy them for like 75 and flip them for 200. So uh, I've done that several times by going to Michael's and doing that with that 40%, I think that 40% off. But uh, that should be, so take a look at Michael's, take a look at Spirit. Another thing I like to do is hopefully, I know that other pickers do this also, is go to Lowe's. Lowe's has very cool Halloween stuff. And if you can get it, it timed right, maybe you can find some stuff that you might put up for next year if you can hold on to it. Or even some people continue to buy throughout the year. So keep that in mind. Now, this is the item that I think a lot of people just miss. And we got one that sold today. So we're going to talk about that. This is it. I do not know why. So if somebody wants to tell me, it is a Magnavox. It is a Magnavox. I just said it. It's not a Pioneer. It's not a Yamaha. It's, you know, it's weird. And look, it's not very big, guys. It's a VCR DVD combo. Uh, it's the model DV2020MW9. That's it. I just know it. Every time I see it, I buy it. And I went to the flea market, and this gentleman said, I want 10. I didn't want to pay 10. I don't like paying 10 for these. I said, I'll give you five. He took the five because I don't know if it works. Number one, even if it doesn't work, I'm still probably going to get $35, $40 for it and, it's, and shipping. And it's not that hard to ship. This will sell quickly for right around $80 to $100 every, every time. Get the remote and you're really going good. Get it brand new in a box. I'll try and put some of the brand new in the box prices up here if I can remember. You can get three four hundred dollars crazy but people forget these these dvd video combos with especially this particular magnavox if you know why let me know okay i I'm, i don't i i don't like to sit around sometimes and try and dig all this information out and try and figure it out i just know that hey it makes money for me so yeah super super cool find I knew it. It's like everybody else is in this particular booth at the flea market. Everybody was just ram, rubbing, rubbing gin around, right? Going quick at it. And I was just like, I always think of, uh, if you've ever watched It's a Mad, Mad, Mad World, all those famous actors, Buddy Hackett, Milton Berle, uh, you name it. They were all in this. And at the end, Spencer Tracy, who's the cop, is just standing there watching them all dig and go crazy. That was what I feel like every time I'm outside a booth that's going nuts. And then I just kind of reach in and take this. And I, you know, it's like everybody's it's this frenzy looking for other stuff. And I pull it out and that's what I get. So it's interesting. That's just me. Some of my musings. All right. I'm going to put that down. Uh, let's get into what we sold. Now, here's the total. It's a pretty big total. $3,400 for 20 items. So big day, a big day and a half. It's a day and a half. $3,400. One of them is the big item. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but we're going to get right down to some simpler items. Right off the bat, I like to find these Apple keyboards. Now, I always, I use Apple Mac, so I have a uh, one that was a little worn out. There were two of these available at Savers for $2.99. And I decided to take both and keep one because my other one was filthy dirty. After a while, the keys just get dirty. So I kept that one as my spare, put the, the one that I got at Savers and this one, I put this one up. This one, it gets $21 uh, plus free shipping. There's not a whole lot you can do, but at $2.99, now this is how I think, I got two of them for $6. One I'm going to use, and then I keep my old one for a spare. So basically, I'm gonna make a couple of dollars, but I end up with a new keyboard and a spare. There you go. That's how we think his resellers. So 21 in free shipping. Not the, not the, but if you can get them for a buck or two, okay, yeah. But that's where they're going to generally stand. All right, now I got that big lot of um, magazines, guys. And uh, they are Architectural Digest. And there were a bunch of them that were brand new. 
I had a lot of them who were new and complete years, and I got a lot of money, good money for them. This is not a complete year. This is, I think, one or two short. And this sold for $16 plus $17 shipping. You hear me talk about the bins. A lot of people... A lot of people ask me about the bins and stuff. And all I can tell you is you just got to dig around in your area to try to find a place that sells uh, books by the bushel, basically. That's how it looks. That's how it is. Um, and we get some of this stuff sometimes, and I have to go through it, and I have to sell it. It's like there's so much of it. That was a particular day where there was like 100 Architectural Digest magazines. I, I got to you got to take it. I got to get that bin paid for. You know, I'm trying to get it. And the bin is a hundred. So I'm trying to get it paid for by the eBay stuff. And the rest goes into Amazon. Here's another classic example. Uh, Law of torts. Today we did, um, Tyler and I, uh, there are days where, uh, Tyler shows up with me and we both go. And what we do is we will then hit as many bins as we can. So if there's four, if there's five, we'll do those. And at the end of the day, we then line up by price and we divide it. We make it fair. And that's how we do it. We have a lot of fun. It's camaraderie. It's kind of like, hey, it's two friends. We're talking. We're just having fun. We laugh a lot. And then at the end, we put down books in a row and we play dice. We roll, we have a big dice and I roll the dice odd or even and rows for rows. You get that row. I get this row. And we just make it fun. That's why it's so cool, reselling. It's, you know, you got other buddies, and that's what we do. So there's a little bit more insight into how I work the bins. Uh, so Law of Torts. And this one was not great. I stepped on some bubble wrap. That's great, huh? Uh, this one was $22 plus free shipping. Again, I don't like to throw stuff like this away because somebody can use that. Somebody needs a book, uh, you know, on the Law of Torts. But what I was getting back to, we found a several today. We found... Uh, I think two or three, just like that. One was $173 and one was $143 book. So those books, those law books like that, they can go for some good money. So keep that in mind when you're out there looking. Simple little find. Out of, these were definitely out of the bin of books. These has uh, been around for a while, Lord of the Rings and uh, three DVD set. And the Lord of the Rings got, I got to look for it here, guys. I'm not very good at it right now. Oh, who knows? <laughs> I didn't think I put it down. It's probably about 20 bucks. I'll put it up there. Not a ton, but hey, again, helps pay for the bin of books. Now, interesting find. Uh, I, I'm hoping there, I put some videos together of me finding some stuff in Goodwill, and then I'm going to put those out. You're seeing some of those. So you might see this one uh, prior or after. I have no idea. See how I work? It's just, I just put them up. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's like a Popeye dumbbell. It is what they call a bun. See, it's shaped like a bun. They call them bun dumbbells. And this one is 25 pounds, okay? If I had the other one, I was really golden, but I only had one. And the interesting thing was I was in the Goodwill, and this is where you can't hesitate. There's an old saying, he who hesitates is lost. So I was had my basket. I saw this and two others. I'm gonna show you the other two. Real, let me show you the other one. Here we go. This was the other one. Okay. There was two of these and one of those. And this is uh, by Bollinger. Okay. Now these screw on. See these weights? They screw on. You can see it. They don't slide on. They screw on. This was, I think, 11. This was 8. Okay. So I got two for 11. Now, during COVID, weights were golden, but now they're not as much. But these are the vintage ones, okay? Uh, so these will sell probably for about 74 for the pair, if I'm lucky. This one here, I gotta put this down so I don't trip. This one, okay, sold for $40 plus I think $22 shipping, $23 shipping. Now, if I had a name brand and a matching pair, they could go 150, 200. Uh, vintage weights are are pretty desirable, so keep that in mind is what I'm basically saying. Long story short, I grabbed those two and this one in that Goodwill, put them in my basket. The gentleman came back, and he goes, oh, you got the weights? I go, yeah. He goes, I, I almost bought them, but I was coming back to get them. He who hesitates is lost. Always put something in your cart. You can always put it back, but you can never put something that somebody else takes in your cart. 
basic principle, right? So do that. Uh, no harm in putting it back. If you don't have it in your, you're, you're lost, okay? Keep that in mind. All right, this one is a book called Ryzen. Uh, out of the bin of books, I got a bunch of these. These are like these, oh, they call them RPG, role-playing games. And uh, crazy, so you just put them up. You figure out where they're at. And This is another thing that I think when I have this bin, and I don't want, I, I want to be competitive, but I'm going to undercut if there's no sales. If Let's say there's a book that has, we're going to talk about that in a second, that has no sales, but somebody's asking 100, another person's asking 100, hey, I'm going to blow it out. And I'm going to see if I can get it sold, period. I just want the book to go, and I want to sit around. This one is $15 for Ryzen, and I think the shipping, what is the shipping? Five. Five dollars shipping on that. So that's how it works for me. That's, you know, I don't want to, you know, have a race to the bottom, but if nothing has any comps, there is no bottom. So I got to make a bottom. That's what I, that's the way I kind of look at it. Ah, all right, we'll start with this album first. Uh, if I, I didn't research th this guy, Klaus Schultz, very interesting looking LP. I remember I got it at Goodwill for like $2.49. Um, very unique looking. Um, it's just strange. He's got a lot of albums out there. I think he's obviously German, but this is kind of interesting. Big old keyboard setup. Finally sold this. I got $32.00. Plus six dollars shipping for this one, and uh, I wasn't, you know, I don't, I don't know who he was. I did listen to some of it on um, Apple Music a little bit, and it's progressive y that kind of thing. Now, here's one of my favorite bands War, the world is a ghetto. What a great, what a great band! Look at these guys, huh? Uh, out of LA, just a super great band. Uh, this one's got the Cisco Kid. This has got City, County, City. Uh, city, Country, City. My eyes are getting bad. Uh, I'm thinking what else is on here. Uh, where Was You At? The World is a Ghetto. I'm going to go see him. I've already seen him twice. I'm going to go see him with my son. He actually said, I said, do you want to go see War? And he said, yeah. And uh, it's in San Francisco where we saw uh, John Pertucci of uh, Dream Theater. And we're going to go see War. Uh, coming up in October, I think, October, San Francisco. Great band live, a lot of fun. So War, and War got me, didn't get me a lot of money there. Uh, trying to find it, $14 plus $6 shipping. So still, uh, uh, you know, a nice little find. I've got stuff everywhere now. I, <laughs> my wife was discussing this garage. She knows that it's it's a business, but we were discussing it. We're in, we haven't had our yearly garage sale, so we're going to do it this fall. And she can't wait. <laughs> she can't wait. I can't wait either, to be honest. Uh, here we go. Look at these guys. Uh, or what are they? They are Faber. Oh, I have them backwards. I have them. They're electric eraser it's for a 7-inch Faber uh, Castell uh eraser basically so um that's what they are they're erasers for an electric racer eraser uh i got them uh, for like 2.99 or 3.99 out at savers and uh not you know nothing super great but i got 23 dollars plus eight dollars and 40 cents shipping why did i put eight dollars and 40 cents that's a padded flat rate that's why I should have put eight ninety five, but kept it low, and they sold very quickly. So some of this older stuff, like erasers and stuff, you can you can get some pretty decent money, and I, I did. We're getting to the big item pretty soon. Pretty soon, hang around. Ah, here we go. Interesting. I bought a bunch of jerseys and baseball bats from a particular place, and this was Jimmy Ward. Now Jimmy Ward was the 49ers. He was first number was twenty five. Last year, he played with a number one, and then they traded him to the Texans. But I still liked the jersey, and I thought, you know what? It's still going to add to my total, because I sold a baseball bat for 85 I sold something else for like 30 and I think one more bat for 20 So, And I paid like $32 for everything. So uh, I let this go, because this is was going to be a little trickier, I think. And uh, it got only $20, plus I think about $11, $12 shipping. Uh, so... It goes to somebody. That's another key about reselling, right? Sometimes we just got to let things go a little bit. And it's like, hey, okay, 
I want to make money. But somebody else can use that. Fine. There you go. I took the best offer, basically, is what I'm saying. Ah, I had this around since last year, talking about long tail Halloween stuff. Um, I got it kind of late in the season, so it didn't flip. And this is a uh, Department 56, and this is Photos with Frankenstein. Okay, very interesting. And uh, it finally did sell. And the Department 56, thirty dollars plus ten dollars shipping. I know exactly. It's funny how my long term memory is better than my short term. Tell me if that's you. If your short term is better than your long term, but I can remember stuff a long time ago. Sometimes I put something in here two days ago, and I'm like, well, where did I put it? <laughs> this was at a Goodwill in Mountain View, California. I remember I can still see it on the shelf because there were several, and I think I paid about four or five dollars. So thirty dollars plus that um, ten dollars shipping, and it's only going to Napa, so it should only be six or seven dollars shipping. Uh, I gotta put stuff. Oh, let's go to this guy since it's right back here. Ah. Uh, here we go. All right. This is interesting. I sold, I got a bunch of these at Savers. And what is it, guys? This is the original Vitamix, okay? And this, I got a bunch of the, the um, containers for $4.99. I think I had six or seven, and I sold every one of them. Except I couldn't sell this one. The machine itself with a container took forever. I don't know why, because it... It wasn't price horrible, but I think it was my shipping. You're going to see in a second. So the Vitamix, the two pieces sold for $56. And then I looked at my shipping and I said, whoa, okay, I got $40 for shipping. That was probably what the problem was there. I somehow messed that shipping up, I think. But uh, there's the original Vitamix, I think, is what that is. Yeah. Isn't that super sweet? That's uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Sorry. Let me, show, let me show you here. I gotta tap something on my screen. Oops. There we go. Sorry about that. There you go. The Vitamix 3600. All right. Golf clubs are falling. Everything's falling. Let's go to the golf club since they fell down. Why don't we talk about one? Ah, uh, I don't even remember where I got it. I got it at Savers, I'm pretty sure, but it was like three or four bucks. This is the Callaway X Tour Wedge. Uh, it's got a little bit of a, uh, we call that, um, it's it's a tarnished look, basically. And uh, people like it. Why, here's another tip. I don't, I give you, I try to give you tips every day and why certain things are the way they are. And why this golf club is kind of dull and rusty looking. Um, if you have a shiny golf club, believe it or not, if it's really shined up, chrome, kind of that forged steel and you put it down on the ground sometimes the reflection of the sun can kind of look make it look a little different so they, they do some clubs some guys like them where they're dull okay when you put them down now the sun doesn't reflect all kinds of strange stuff here i give you give you the knowledge um this particular <laughs> golf club didn't sell for a ton of money twenty dollars plus $15 shipping. But anytime I get something, I know I'm gonna sell for at least a few bucks like that for three, then I take it. So there you go. Uh, let's keep going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still hold off on that. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Got this one right out of Savers the other day, $3.99, okay? It's a Garcia Mitchell, and it's just a fishing reel. It's just, you know, hey, some fishing reels can go for a lot of money. But it's a Garcia Mitchell, and again, uh, um, when I was a kid, I fished a lot with my dad on streams. I used to love that, fishing on streams. That's another thing. Do you like fishing streams or lakes or the ocean? I love to walk along the stream and fish. So this kind of stuff always brings back memories of my dad. And uh, has an extra spool. And it was $3.99. And today we got the, Abu, the Mitchell uh, fishing reel, 54 plus $12 shipping. Super, super nice. Now, can't can't beat that with a steak, right? This one came out of my bin of books. This is what I'm talking about. Here is Eclipse, the Well and the Black Sea. Two people had it up for over $100. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it and I'm going to figure out what to do with it. So I said, I'm going to put this thing up for $39.95 and just let it go. If somebody wants it, they can have it. And I'm going to make $40. And it sold quickly within two days for $40 plus $9 shipping. Now, there's no, there was no other solds or comps. 
probably because they're just too high. So I had to find, guess where it's at. Yeah, people say, why don't you run an auction? Well, auction on this is not gonna be good. There's not gonna be 500 people interested in this book or you know even 10 or 15 in general. So just $40 and poof, off it went. Ah, okay, if you saw me, uh, maybe I, I think I might have had this in a video. Uh, this is the Brother DR360. It's a drum, it's a drum unit, not a toner. I think I got it wrong in the, in the video. This is a drum, not a toner. And um, again, all of these brothers that are like this and they're sealed, you can tell when they're new, factory sealed, can sell for some good money. Guess what? Remember what I told you about? As soon as you put it up, there are going to be some toner people out there. I got two right off the bat for one was $45 and one was 40 and both of them said, hey, as long as the box is in good shape and sealed new, okay. I tell you, that's the way they are, these guys. They want to make sure that they're perfect. So guess what I did? I did not take theirs. I waited and I got another person. And you can tell by feedback. When you look at the feedback, if somebody's got 200 feedback and somebody's got four, five, 6,000 feedback and their name says Bill's Toner, or Bill's ink and toner, you kind of know what's going on. So that's what I knew. So I said, let me just wait a little bit. And I waited and some guy gave me $44 versus 45, but he wasn't a toner guy. He wants this for himself. And so I took his offer of $44 plus free shipping. Paid like three, four bucks for that. So yeah, you're not gonna make, you're not gonna get rich on them, but you will flip them and make decent money on them, okay? Now, uh, I'm still going to wait. I know I'm making you wait. Some of you are probably going to fast forward. I know some of you will. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I got to build some suspense. Here we go. Now, remember we talked about um, VCRs and stuff, guys? Here is one, okay? And we, I don't know if I talked to you about this one. I got it for what? Free. One of the guys on the dock, I asked him, I was willing to pay him like 10 bucks for it. And he said, no, Mike, take it. I don't want it. He said, take it. I'm not going to be able to sell it. You believe that's what they say. So this is uh, a JVC Super VHS. The key is Super VHS, okay? Um, does really well. These sell really well. This particular one sold for $100 plus $27 shipping. See what I mean by VHS? It's just people go, what? VHS for all? Yeah. And again, if you get it new or if you get some of the other ones, I've sold some Super VHS for $250 used. So keep your eye out for that. Ah, here was a big find. Garage sale, almost passed it up. You heard me talk about it several times. A lot of older looking stuff out front, but I went up and lucky for me, I found a bunch of this stuff. Sprinkler heads, old rain jet brass sprinkler heads um she said 40 she goes i'd like 30 or 40 and i said well how about 30 and i got it for 30. i have made over now 1200 dollars off of these sprinkler heads this is a 16 so we offered for 16 320 dollars plus i think there was like 34 dollars uh 37 dollars shipping so 16 of these 320 dollars I'm down to three. I think I had 42 or so, and I added it up last night. I am now over $1,200 in those sprinklers, so pretty, pretty crazy. That's still not the big item, guys. It's only $320, so hang around. We're getting there. I think we only got, I think I got one more to go, and then we'll get to it, and we'll talk about it. All right, yesterday, went to the flea market very quickly. There was a bag of these. What are they? What are they? A big bag. There they are. What are they? Everybody's going now. They know what they are. Monster High Dolls. Okay. A bunch of different Monster High Dolls. But you'll notice some are missing the arms and stuff like that. Well, the person at the flea market said they wanted um, 35 for the entire bag. And I said, no, I'll give you 25 and then they hemmed and hawed and they said well I, I pointed out I go do you know that a lot of the arms are missing and they said okay there ended up being 28 total dolls I kept six of them to sell individually and I sold this as a lot and I said hey various conditions uh, these dolls the monster high dolls sold for 
Oh my gosh, where did it go? Monster High, I got it right here somewhere. $80 right away, plus $20 shipping. Some people go, oh, you undersold them. Hey, paid $25. 80 plus I got six dolls that I think I'm gonna average twenty dollars. So it's 120. So two hundred dollars for my twenty-five dollar investment. I'll take that all day long. All right, let's get into the big item. If you've watched my channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification if you want to. Because occasionally I find some really, really good stuff. I'm in Silicon Valley. People just give stuff away sometimes. It's quite amazing. And here is the item that I got. There she is. Everybody's probably going, I thought it would be her. It's the Molly doll, American Girl doll. And everybody, everybody who has seen Molly on my channel goes, ooh, why is she so special? Well, I'm gonna pull up her dress. Okay, all right, don't get, don't get twisted. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull her dress up and show you. There you go, okay? You see it underneath there? It is signed by Pleasant Rowland, number 933, 1987. Try and give you a better shot, there you go. All right, she's in excellent condition, super duper condition. There goes her purse. What'd she end up selling for? We sold Molly for $2,500, $2,500, big score. We sold the accessories too. Remember we had her in a trunk? with some other clothes and some other sec accessories. All those accessories so far have sold 500. 2,500, so we made $3,000 off of a single purchase that I paid how much for? $15. She was in the trunk. I was after the trunk because I thought that's all it was and I opened it up. She was in it and I also made the mistake of not checking. Rookie mistake. And I finally was able to check it and not lose her and she sold for $2,500. I made contact with the seller, with the buyer, I mean. I made contact with the buyer, and I, I told her, I said, hey, thank you, and I, I left her a note, and I said, I'm gonna really package her up nicely and all that kind of stuff. And she said she was gonna give it to her daughter as a, you know, as a birthday gift. And I thought, wow, okay, that's really cool. So, you know, yeah. Hey, look, it's, it's uh, basically a collectible. That's what this is. It's signed and all that, so. Uh, she's going to get it. She's happy. She said she's really happy to get it. And there you go. You never know what you're going to find out there. You have to keep those feet moving. You just don't know, guys. I mean, we hear the stories over and over on the news. A guy finds something that's worth 50000 Somebody else finds something that's worth twenty. dollars uh, They're out there. Uh, and if you keep doing it enough, you're going to find stuff like this. My biggest sale of all time was a VHS tape sealed of all time, of all things. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones VHS tape, and I have that video too. Uh, I sold it for $4,500. $2,500 right here. It's out there, guys. All right. Don't forget, if you want that book, put a comment in. It's probably already gone. But anyhow, thank you for watching my channel. And uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, bell notification, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.